This is Robert Clarkson. Welcome to the Anxiety Support Center. If you suffer from claustrophobia, you're probably all too familiar with that horrible growing panic when you're in an elevator or a crowded subway or any small and enclosed space. Now, around 2.2 to 5% of the population suffer from claustrophobia, and not only is it terrifying, but it can really mess with your lifestyle and freedom. But only if you let it. So what can you do about it? Well, I'm going to show you a simple but effective solution to stop panic attacks permanently without drugs or expensive therapy sessions. Okay, now I know that panic attacks are sudden, quite unexpected periods of intense anxiety and fear, and every person's experience is different. And in a moment I'll give you an amazingly quick solution which will fit you. But first, let's take a quick look at some diversionary tactics that at least can be used quickly and easily to occupy the mind and ward off the anxiety and panic of uh, claustrophobia. Here's seven tactics that you can use immediately. Number one, if you count down numbers from 100 very, very quickly and out loud and repeat over and over and say the numbers softly, as I say, but out loud. The second thing, you do is to disempower the attack, is to laugh about it. Tell yourself, this can't hurt me, never has, this is meaningless. Talk to yourself about this for extensively, again, out loud, this can't, this is fine, this can't hurt me, completely meaningless. Disempower it. The third thing you can do is to keep moving constantly. Step up and down, rub your hands together, or rub or slightly slap your face repeatedly. This is extremely distracting. The fourth thing you can do is shake your arms and legs and clench your fists you clench them tight. You'd think calm and relaxed is the thing to do. No, no, no. You just clench. Do the same thing with your feet and roll your shoulders over and back repeatedly. The fifth thing you can do is talk to someone nearby, whether it's someone you know or not. Even just saying hello can be enough of a distraction. If you, sixth thing you can do, number six, is to breathe in slowly and deeply through your nose. Make an extreme focus on your breathing intensively. Count to four, then breathe out slowly through your mouth. Breathe in slowly and deeply through your nose, then breathe out slowly through your mouth after you've counted to four. The seventh and last thing is the opposite, is to relax your shoulders and focus intently on a single static object. Fascinate yourself with that object. Talk about it out loud. If you use a combination of these tactics, you'll get the greatest effect. But uh, these are just quick fixes, like band-aids. Of course, you know, a permanent solution would be a lot better. And does such a solution even exist? Well, yes, it does. Okay, here's a simple but effective solution that that I promised when I began that can help stop anxiety and panic attacks permanently. If you go to the Anxiety Support Center, website address you see below. Or, if you're watching this on YouTube, which is be far quicker, uh, say if you're typing it in, just click on the link over to the right where the arrow is pointing, into the description area, there's a link over there. And that'll take you to the page with the solution for stopping anxiety and panic attacks for good. This is uh, Robert Clarkson. Now, thank you for watching. As I say, just click on the link to the right, and you'll get straight to the panic attack solution.